guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is group anagrams so in this question we are given an array of strings called strs and we need to group the anagrams present together and we can return the answer in any order so this is the definition of an anagram anagram is a word or phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a word or phrase typically using all the original letters exactly once for example you can say that NAT and TAN are anagrams because TAN is formed by using all the letters inside NAT exactly once. They are just rearranged. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this can be solved. So let's take a look at the example one. I've taken the same example here. I've created a result list in the first step and I created a map which contains strings as keys and a list of strings as values. Now let's iterate through the strs array from left to right and access each string as str. So we start with this string. So the string is eat. Convert that string into a character array. So it will become e comma a comma t. Now sort that string. It will become a e t. Now make this sorted string as a string. It will become a e t. Now check if that string AET is present as because we are checking the sorted string is present inside the map as a key or not. It is not present. So put that sorted string inside the map AET and initialize the array list. And outside the if statement get the value of the sorted list get will give you a value of whatever is present as key inside this parameter. So we are getting the empty array list and adding the original string. So the original string is this one, right? Which we are initially going through for this sorted string. So add it into the array list we created as value. It will be added as EAT. Now let's go on to the next iteration. Next iteration, we're going for the second element. Second element inside the array is this. Convert it into a array. So it will become TEA. Sort that array. It will become AET again. Make this array into a string. So it is AET. Now check if that element is present as key inside the map. Yes, it is present. It won't enter the if statement and come out. And now we are getting the value of the sorted string. So we need to add the original str. So TEA will be added. Go back to the for loop and go for the next element. The next element is TAN. We make it into array. TAN. Now sort this array. A and T. Make this array into a string a and t. Now inside this if statement we need to check if it is present as key inside the map. No it is not present so it will go inside the if statement and put that sorted string as key a and t and initialize our array list as value. Now we come out of the if statement and execute the statement. We get the value of the sorted list which is our empty array list and add its original str, not the sorted string, but the original string, which is tan into that array list. So tan will be added. Now it will go back to the for loop and go for the next element. The next element is ate, so convert it into array, sort it, aet, make it into a string, aet. AET is present as already key, so add its original string ATE as element inside the array list. Now it will go for the next element. The next element is NAT, convert it into array, NAT, sort it, ANT, make it into a string, ANT. Now check if it is present inside the map. Yes, it is present, so add the original element into the array list and at has been added now let's go for the next element to go back to the for loop the next element is bat convert it into a array bat sort this array abt make it into a string abt check if it is present inside the map no it is not present so make a new entry abt and initialize the array list and add its original string as value inside that array list. Now go back and all the elements have been processed. So we reach the end of the array. So come out of the for loop. Now we created the result, right? Result is equal to. Now you can see the answers are present as values inside the map. So add all the values of the map into the result. So first entry is EAT, TEA. 
comma a t e so this is the first value next value is t a n comma n a t the next value is b a t so this is the resulting output we got the same answer so you return that result as the output now that we have seen how this question can be solved let's follow the same steps this is the function given to us group anagrams and we need to return a list of list of strings and this is the input array strs which contains the words so let's start off by creating the result we need to return this right so let's create this i'm going to name it result now let's create a hash map which will store the string and its corresponding list of strings Now let's iterate through the strs array using a for each loop. So I'm creating a variable str which will iterate through all the strings present inside strs. Now let's convert this string into a character array so we can sort that array. Now this character array will represent a string as an array. Now let's sort this character array in ascending order using the sort method. Now the characters inside the cats array are sorted in ascending order which represent the characters of str now let's make this character array back to a string i'll name it sorted string now let's check if the sorted string is present inside the map if it is not present we'll add that string and create a new array list so if, so if that map does not contain the sorted string we need to insert the string as a key inside the map and create an array list so that we can store the next upcoming anagrams inside this array list. So outside the if statement, it means that if that if that sorted string is present inside the map, if it is present inside the map, we add that string inside this array list. So for that, let's get the array list. To get the array list, we need to use the get method on the sorted string. So this will give you the array list. Now we need to add that string into the array list. So this for loop will add all the elements inside the map with its corresponding anagrams as a list. Now the answers, that is the individual list, are present as values inside the map. And we need to add those values inside this result list. So we can do result.addall and get the values of the map using map.values. Now the answer is present inside the result as a list of list of strings. So we can return the result. Now let's run the code. Our test cases are passing. Let's submit the code. There you have it. A solution has been accepted. So the time complexity of this approach is first we are using O of n to iterate through all the strings inside STRS and then using k log k where k is the length of the longest string present inside the STRS array and the space complexity which we are storing as the result the result will be using n into k space as the output. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.